the Planning and Zoning Board will come to order for uh, Wednesday, November the 15th. It is now 6, uh, 6.05, a little late getting our uh, infrastructure tuned up here, but we're there. Tonight we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to go back and approve uh, a stack of minutes that uh, we just weren't able to get to because of a lot of circumstances. So we'll, we'll do that first. And as we work through them, I'll just ask the board if you have any remembrances in those out of those minutes that you'd like to talk about, address, correct, whatever. And then we'll go on to our uh, task at hand for uh, rezoning parcels. So we are now uh, in the business of roll call, Renee. Call roll, please. Mr. Stroud. Present. Mr. Sharp. Present. <clears throat> Dr. Miller. Ms. Gentlecore. Ms. Denny. Here. Mr. Price. Present. Mr. Russell. Here. Okay. Um, we're now in that uh, part of the meeting that is public participation. Is there anything uh, anybody in the public would like to raise their hand and bring before us uh, something to talk about that we haven't addressed. Seeing none, we, uh, we move on to old business. Uh, and we don't have any, so we need to move to new business down through the agenda. And now we're down to board matters, and we're going to talk about approving uh, meeting minutes for December 7th. You have in your data pack that set of minutes and uh, you had a chance to uh, read them, remember them, and uh, they were quite detailed. I, I recommend taking this set of minutes and stacking them in your keep it file <laughs> because one of these days when we have to talk about lot splits again, it might be good reference material. And so, uh, how shall we do this? Mr. Chairman. Let me just see if there's any discussion about uh, okay. December the 7th minutes. Mr. Chairman. Yes. I make a motion that we approve uh, the uh, December 7th minutes as printed. Okay, thank you. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I'd like to second that motion. We have a second. Uh, Renee, would you call the motion? Call the roll, please. Mr. Stroud. Four. Mr. Sharp? Four. Ms. Denny? Four. Mr. Price? For the motion. Mr. Russell? Four. Now, for uh, the new members' benefit, <clears throat> what I usually do is we have discussion. And then I ask for a motion. And then when the motion is on the floor and properly seconded, I ask for a roll call. I don't waste time. A lot of uh, other uh, chairmen, chairpersons, the mayor included, they'll get to that. They'll ask for the motion, then they'll say, is there any further discussion? And off you go again for another 15 minutes. You don't need to do that. You already had the discussion. If you didn't, you should have got your aura in the water while we were discussing in the sermon. <laughs> okay, next is uh, the minutes for July the 26th. I do have a discussion on that. <clears throat> Go. I noticed that on uh, page three or four, when we talk about 2C, we said that uh, Ms. Genicor seconds the motion to approve and then says that she votes against it. So it didn't make sense to me. <laughs> Did it happen? Yeah, did, it did happen that way. Well, okay, then something happened. Okay. In, uh, this was the confusing. It was motion. a confusing, yes, because yeah. we were, yeah. Yeah, as, as I recall, what happened is Ms. Gentlecore um, seconded the motion um, just for purposes of advancing it to bring it to a vote. And sometimes members will do that. Okay, um, that's so cool. That's what happened there. Okay. Yeah, sometimes there's a hesitancy 
big pause after you have the motion. Big pause, yeah. no second. So she just moved it along. Okay, we get it. Um, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we approve the minutes for the July 26th me meeting as written. I will second the motion. Thank you. Renee, call the roll. Call the motion. Mr. Stroud? For the motion. Mr. Sharp? For. Ms. Denny? For the motion. Mr. Price? For the motion. Mr. Russell? <clears throat> for. Okay, now that moves us down to the minutes for September 13th, 2023. And we're now in discussion. If you have anything to say about it or uh, raise an issue, now's the time. Okay, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion that we approve the uh, minutes for meeting September 13 as printed. Thank you. May I have a second? Mr. Chairman, I will second that motion for those minutes. Thank you. Uh, Madam Secretary, please call the roll. Mr. Stroud? For the motion. Mr. Sharp. For the motion. Ms. Denny. For the motion. Mr. Price. For the motion. Mr. Russell. For. Okay. All those minutes have been approved and they now go into the records. Uh, we move down to the comprehensive plan amendments. And the first uh, parcels we're going to address our ocean court. But before we get into that, uh, had a had a comment, a question here. Okay, Kyle, do you have any? Uh, would you like to just lay the groundwork for what we're doing with these? Because I'm going to move through them pretty quickly, unless we want to hold up and talk. Sure. Um, so, just some background. I believe most of you are pretty familiar with this project, except for maybe Mr. Sharp. Um, starting in 2019, uh, the city started to um, rezone non-conforming residential uses in C1 zoning classifications, which occurred because I believe it was 2016 when um, the special exception uh, for, for residential uses in C1 was removed from the code. So um, we have gone through and done three phases so far. This will be the fourth, uh, the first one in I believe over over a year. So this is the first one that since I've been here that we've done, and uh, I think we were going to try to build on this momentum and and get knock these out. So we're working our way down in the city. Um, a lot of these are adjacent to previously rezoned properties. Um, we've got a total of sixty six parcels um, that I'm going to be talking about tonight. We do have one request to uh, not be included that I just received today uh, that I'll, I will mention when we get to it. And then we had one additional property that was um, a standalone property that they wanted to be removed uh, pretty pretty early on. They just happened to call about it as I was preparing this, so so they were no longer included. Um, well, that's going to be a story. We'd like to hear yeah. that when we get to it. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, and just to uh, just to mention it, we mailed notices to the property owners on uh, Halloween, 1031, um, which is within the 14-day notice period. And we had the uh, uh, the um, excuse me newspaper ad was posted on 11-1. So th there's a 10-day requirement in Florida statute for a legal ad, um, and we were well within that as well. So um, yeah, we we have noticed this properly, and uh, we're ready to ready to get moving. Okay. Uh, this was, <clears throat> we, can, we continue on then with the cleaning up, cleaning up of the uh, special exception issue that we had, we created a long time ago. Okay, so the uh, first uh, group is Ocean Court. We're going to uh, uh, talk about and enact a, a recommend enactment of a small scale future land use map amendment. And then following that, you always come along with a zoning amendment. So before you can change zoning, you have to make sure it's compatible with the, with the land use map. Land use map comes first. So we have in the data pack a description of the land use map amendment and where it's located. Is there any conversation about this parcel? 
I will just also add, I, I didn't say this earlier, these are all um, going to be C1 to R2. Both the flu mm -hmm. map designation and the zone and classification will yeah. be uh, uh, going from C1 to R2. Um, there is one that maybe we can discuss, should be R3, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Very well. <clears throat> uh, is there any other discussion or question among, the, among ourselves? I do have a question. Sure. Um, did the county, is the county responsible for any of this stuff being zoned the way it currently is? I know we've only been incorporated as a city for so long, but uh, was any of this the result of any actions by the county? Not, not as far as, as I'm aware. I don't know if Dave is aware. Yeah, I, I think it was when it was incorporated uh, and maybe, maybe a little after it was, <clears throat> it was given. I, know, I have heard that the intention was at one point to have North Atlantic sort of be a commercial corridor, and it didn't really work out that way. Yeah, um, yeah, this, but, that's what I understood. I just yeah. was curious uh, how how far far back this did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I don't believe the county has had any involvement. All right. Yeah, you can see the history of the zonings and rezonings oh, yeah. over the years on pages thirteen through eighteen of the little green book. So. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. I don't think the, the county had anything to do with this. We zoned it ourselves. Um, no further question. Okay, thank you. Uh, any other questions on the board? All right, can I have a motion to uh, recommend approval of the future land use map for Ocean Court? Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to approve the Ocean Court rezoning from C1 to R2. Yep, let's uh, rephrase that, please. Oh, We're not rezoning right now. We're changing oh, the land use changing map. Changing the land use map amendment. There you My go. My apologies. You're recommending approval of the land use map amendment. Yes. I'll second that motion. Thank you. And Renee, call roll. Mr. Stroud? Four. Mr. Sharp? For the motion. Ms. Denny? For the motion. Mr. Price? For the motion. Mr. Russell? For. Okay. We now recommend an approval of the uh, future land use map. We now go to part B of this item for the zoning map. So we now change the zoning with this recommendation. May I have, uh, well, let me have any discussion. Okay, now's the time to get your oar in the water, and if not, we'll have to ask for a motion to recommend. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to recommend Ordinance 02-2024 for approval. Is there a second? Zero three, isn't it? No, it's zero uh, two. O2, O2. O2. 2024. Okay. Yeah, if, uh, let me help you out. Number B. On the other oh, there it is. Okay. Yes. Yep. Now everybody's uh, on the page. Uh, any anything else? All right. May I have a motion to approve or disapprove? Don't be bashful. Well, I think we already have a motion. I'll second it. We right? do have. Do we have a motion to approve? Uh, Steve yes. gave us a motion. Yes. Okay. I'm busy quarterbacking this thing, so sometimes I lose my uh, my page. I depend on all of, the, all of you to help me. All right, uh, we're ready to call the roll. Mr. Stroud? For the motion. Mr. Sharp? For the motion. Ms. Denny? For the motion. Mr. Price? For the motion. Mr. Russell? Four. Okay, one down, seven to go. We now move to part two of the agenda, and uh, our, our number two. It's called Park Villas. And again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to uh, recommend approval of the uh, small-scale future land use map amendment. Um, is there any discussion about that? Anybody see any peculiarity with that? You have the uh, overhead in front of you, and you can see where it's situated in the, uh, the parcel is situated within the uh, city. 
Yeah, so I don't, I don't know if uh, you guys want more context or uh, the surrounding zoning to the north is C1. Um, that's the commercial plaza with Canaveral Meats and Delis. Um, and then to the east is R2. Um, to the south is, is another, pro another property that's included. So it, it is contiguous to R2 zoning. Okay, anything else to add? No. Questions or comments? Uh, seeing uh, no indication, uh, may I have a motion to recommend approval? Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make the motion to approve Ordinance 03-2024. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I'll second the motion. Thank you. Renee, call the roll, please. Mr. Chairman, I just want to just of course. Out of order. I just want to make sure I know there's just a handful of people here, but these are public hearing items. So I don't know if you have any speaker cards or oh. not, but you, you do need to take public input. Okay. If there's anybody that wants to speak, again, there's only a handful of people here. So I'd thank you for that. Mention that. So here's the way I'll do that. Uh, while we're working down through here, I'll look up. And we won't do speaker cards tonight because we only have uh, a small number of the public at large. So just raise your hand if you've got a question or a comment, and uh, we'll uh, we'll recognize that. Uh, seeing one, yes, sir, come forward, identify your name and uh, address. If you want, you can. We we can yeah. just well. That, that's all right. We'll we can fill there it out go. after the fact. But uh, thank you, Jimmy. We'll uh, proceed now. Go ahead to the podium. James Hale. I live at one ten Washington Avenue. Um, the house numbers you have on here start at one hundred six Washington Avenue. And there is a property at 104, which is part of Park Villas. It's right at North Atlantic Avenue and Washington Avenue. All right. Is that does that complicate anything we're trying to do tonight? Uh, we'll, we'll have to add it. It is included on um, the exhibit, so I think we just need to add it to the ordinance title, which we can do between now and the city council meeting. All right. We do a pen and ink change to the. Uh, Agenda and this I, I should make sure it's in the it, it's possible when I copied it over I missed it So I, I'll just need to check the ordinance title, but I, I it won't complicate anything Okay, but thank you for that. I just wanted to bring it to your sure. attention. Yes. Does that cover? Yeah, what you were con your concern. Okay. Thank you, sir. So that was 104 All right, good catch That's why we do this go through it again and uh, is there now uh, anything else? I don't see any indications of more questions, so I'll go to the board. Are there any comments or questions from the board? Seeing none, I'll ask for a uh, motion to approve. I'll ask for a motion. Don't be bashful. Mr. Chairman, I motion to approve the ordinance 03-2024. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Thank you. Renee, please call the roll. Mr. Stroud? For the motion. Mr. Sharp? For the motion. Ms. Denny? For the motion. Mr. Price? For the motion. Mr. Russell? And four. All right, that moves us down to the uh, B portion of this item, uh, ordinance four. 2024, and we're now addressing the zoning map amendment. Uh, looking back over the uh, audience, is there any indication of a question or comment? Very well. Seeing none, I'll ask the board for question or comment. Mr. Chairman, it looks like on Part B of this, we also need to add that uh, 104. Thank you. We will do so. <clears throat> Pen and ink change to our uh, documentation. And it'll be 
corrected and formal before it goes to the council. Anything else? All right. May I have a motion? Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to approve 04-2024. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Thank you. And Secretary, please call the roll. Mr. Stroud? For the motion. Mr. Sharp? For the motion. Ms. Denny? For the motion. Mr. Price? For the motion. Mr. Russell? For. Okay, we now covered uh, Park Villa. We're going to go to Oaks Condominium. Uh, again, that's Ordinance 05-2024. And we're talking again, we're going through the same drill, uh, a small-scale future land use map amendment. And you see that uh, small-scale map amendment on in front of you. Are there any uh, any comments or questions from the public at all? Public. Seeing no indication, I'll ask the board. Yes. Yeah, I, if you want to go, go first, I also have a comment. Um, go ahead. So, a couple things actually. Um, I, I do want to just point out that uh, there's four parcels listed here. We did notice this to each individual unit, so everyone was was informed. Um, the other uh, thing that I wanted to bring up, Renee, can you bring up the zoning map? This is, is something to, to consider. Um, as I said earlier, every, everything tonight is, is going C1 to R2. And do you know where this, can you locate this or do you want me to help you? It's on the west side of it. Just A1. put the white arrow on it. Yeah. It's right there. Right here. Yeah. Right. So the, the cursor is over it currently. Um, I would just point out, I, I, it won't make much of a material difference, but for the sake of not doing any spot zoning, um, the property to the west is actually R3, not R2. So I think it would be worth considering going to R3 on this one, and that's, uh, I believe, a change we could make relatively easily. Anthony, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but just something for the board to discuss. We currently have it as going to R2, but um, R3 would, would avoid any spot zoning. So you're going to take it, uh, in, the, in the present documentation, it goes from C1 to R2. That's correct. And you're recommending that we change that to R3. I believe so. so it's not adjacent to any R2, but it is adjacent to R3. And like I said, it, materially it won't make much of a difference as far as density or zoning requirements, but just for the sake of not having a spot of R2 in a sea of R3 and C1. Uh, refresh my memory, what's the difference between R2 and R3? Is it just the height? I, I, yeah, I the think it's the height and, um, gosh, off the, off the top of my head, they, they're not too different. I think the yeah. setbacks are the same. Yeah, setbacks are the same. It's, they're really not very different. Okay. Okay, well, uh, how does the board feel? You want to take it, change that to R3 to make it more oh, I see. compatible? Okay. okay. Mr. Chairman, I have no objection. It seems to make sense. Uh, so you don't have another situation where it's spot zone. Yeah, very well. I agree. Okay. Then um, we'll change that to R2 to R3. And uh, pen and ink change, and then it'll be corrected in the uh, submission to the council. So we're now uh, entertaining a motion to approve. Well, well wait. Uh, okay. <laughs> I just wanted to uh, say that it is called the Oaks in the verbiage in A and B. It's described as the Ocean Oaks condominium. Yes, actually, I did. I meant to bring that up as well. We did catch that, and we're going to make that change okay. as well. Okay. Cool. So, okay, it's o Ocean Oaks. It's it actually is the Oaks. It's called Ocean Oaks in the in the title of the ordinance, but we're going to correct that to just read the Oaks. 
Well, you've got it corrected in the. Uh, it's yeah, minutes. it's a little confusing. In 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 number three, it says the oaks, but when you read A and B, if you read on on the. Uh, There's a scrivener's error in the title. It just inserted the word ocean. It should just be oaks condo. Okay, just uh, correct that that's, error. That's been and corrected and. Property owners were no, all the property owners were noticed by mail. Okay, any comment from the public? Seeing none, uh, comment, further comment from the uh, board? All right, very good. Now we'll uh, ask for a motion to approve with the discussion, with the discussed correction. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to approve the ordinance 05-2024 with the stated changes. All right. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I'll second that. Thank you. Renee, call a roll, please. Mr. Stroud? For the motion. Mr. Sharp? For the motion. Ms. Denny? For the motion. Mr. Price? For the motion. Mr. Russell? For. All right, now down to part B, we're going to uh, probably consider the same correction, Scrivener error correction for uh, the Oaks condominium and uh, in reference to the zoning map. So we're gonna change that recommendation to R3, is that correct? Yes, that's correct, okay. they, they mirror each other. Now, I'll ask if there's anything from the public. Seeing none, is there anything else from the board? Okay, seeing none, I'll ask for a motion. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make the motion to approve Ordinance 06-2024 with the uh, two recommended changes. Thank you. Is there a second? Chairman, I second that motion. Thank you. And Renee, call the roll, please. Mr. Sharp. Approved. Mr. Stroud. For the motion. Ms. Denny. For the motion. Mr. Price. For the motion. Mr. Russell. For. All right. So we have uh, finished with item three. Now we're going to number four. That's the parcels between Washington Avenue and Adams Avenue. Anything you want to give us as a lead in to that? Uh, we have a visual yeah. on that map. Yeah, so I, once the visual is up, I'll, I'll just point out that the parcels to the uh, south on, on Adams are the, the westernmost along uh, North Atlantic are of commercial uses, so they were not included, as you'll see on the aerials. Okay, uh, again, we're talking about the future land use map now, and I'll ask for comments or questions from the public. Seeing no indication, then uh, we'll ask the uh, board if there's anything to add. Okay, uh, seeing no indication, I'll ask for a uh, Motion to recommend approval for the uh, future land use map for parcels between Washington Avenue and Adams Avenue. Ordinance 72024. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we recommend, recommend approval for uh, ordinance number 072024. Okay. I'll second the motion. Thank you. Uh, Renee, call the roll. Mr. Stroud. For the motion. Mr. Sharp. For the motion. Ms. Denny. For the motion. <clears throat> Mr. Price. For the motion. Mr. Russell. For. Okay. Now moving down to uh, part B of the uh, agenda item. Uh, that's uh, ordinance number 82024. That's the zoning map. Is there any 
question or comment from the public. All right, seeing none uh, from the uh, board. Is there anything else to address from the board? Okay, seeing no indication. Renee, please call a, or uh, let, may I have a motion, please? <laughs> Don't have a motion yet. I will make the motion to approve ordinance number 08-2024, as is. Okay. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second that motion. Thank you. Now, Renee, you can call the roll. Mr. Stroud? For the motion. Mr. Sharp? For the motion. Ms. Denny? For the motion. Mr. Price? For the motion. Mr. Miller? I mean, I'm sorry, Mr. Russell? For. And then that moves us down to uh, item five, which is the parcels between Adams Avenue and Jefferson Avenue. And that's ordinance 092024. Future land use map. Any comments or corrections to that? Uh, any comments or corrections to that, Kyle? Yes. One uh, thing to note, if you go over one more, Renee. You can see on, on the screen, this was a, a conversation literally today, this afternoon. Uh, someone called and does not wish to be included in this. They would like to stay C1. Um, I, I suspect it's they have a, a, a vacation rental and the seven day minimum um, you know, does not apply in C1 and it does in R2. So I, I believe that was their, their stated reason. Um, but that's that's the only one that's requested it so far. But just wanted to note that. All right. How does the uh, board? Uh, well, let me ask if there's a comment from the public. Interesting. Is there any comment from the board about that? Okay. Here uh, seems like a straightforward business decision. I'm glad they didn't pick one in the middle. <laughs> so, but it's it's currently a residential house that they it, it, yeah it's a currently Airbnb. a residential use that's that's rented out. And, I, and, yeah. and they want it to stay C one so they can they don't have to adhere to the correct rental limits. Yes, yeah, so that yes, yeah, so that was the, also the reason given for uh, another property that's not even on here because they they called about it like I said without even knowing this was happening. But that was also their reason. I found that that's typically the reason if people want to remain C1. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does the uh, board, is the board inclined to um, ride along with that? Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion that we recommend approval for ordinance number 092024 as written. So including... Does, uh, that in, does that include uh, Kyle's recommend to take out the what, store? Were you recommending that we take it out? I I don't know, Dave. Are they? I mean, can uh, they? Uh, well, I don't know. Can they? Yeah, uh, actually, you know, I mean, if they is, it, is, it, it, is that kind of a given? Yeah, I mean, our, is it take it out or put it in? I think uh, we're. I, had, I hadn't experienced this in the past. Our, so. our practice has Let's been. Let's talk if, about if it this way. Our, Let's our talk practice about omitting, has been omitting that law. Omitting it. If if a property owner requests to remove it, our practice has been to take that out. Um, and we've that's that's what we've done in the first three phases. Okay. So, um, you know, and 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 it's. You know, I think the board can do whatever they want to do, and we'll just we'll just put it up to the council and let them make make the decision. But that's Mr. Actually. Chairman. Can I ask a question, please? Certainly. So, is it fair to assume that there are other parcels in that same plot that are being used as Airbnb? Um, I, I would not knowing these parcels that well, There's but a I, I, that. I can't I can't give you a, a guaranteed answer but I would assume that is the so, case so here's um, here's my gut and that is that if by not including that in the rezoning we're giving them permission to not adhere to 
certain rental restrictions and anybody else in that area would have to adhere to that doesn't seem fair to me yeah there is a fairness issue and, and also we need to look at when they bought this property they bought this property in the commercial district a residential use which they could which which they were not subject to the seven-day minimum when they purchased it that was what they purchased and that was <clears throat> and, and and they had some assumptions based on that now the city's coming along and saying well we're going to rezone you to r1 and you're going to lose that ability to to rent for seven days so i'm not sure it rises to the level of a, a taking i mean that's something anthony would have to just opine on but um you know there's certainly going to be some some pushback perhaps from some some of the property owners saying oh that's not what i bought when i bought this i was buying x now the city wants to change it to y um you know does it again does it rise to the level of a, a lawsuit or anything i i don't think so but that's you know that's that's a and I also do want to just clarify, when I spoke with them, I did inform them of the risks of staying C1 as far as the non-conforming aspect. Uh, you know, if they were to have the building were be, to be destroyed, they couldn't rebuild as a residential unit. Um, so, they, so they are aware of that risk and, you know, made a business decision in, in requesting to be not included. And they accepted that risk? Yes, yes. So they, they're aware. Anthony, do you have anything that you want to add or recommend? Well, it, I mean, the, the, as, as Kyle said, that, I mean, the dilemma is that if the residential structure is destroyed, it's going to have to become commercial, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the whole reason, impetus for going through this process is to try to protect their uh, residential use. Now you get a situation where the property owner wants to protect their vacation rental uh, ability to rent for less than a minimum of seven days. I mean, one thought, um, again, I, I just heard about this tonight, is there a possibility where you can treat it as a non-conforming use if they have an existing vacation rental? I think that's what we've done. Um, that they are clearly... Um, you know, uh, renting for, you know, less than seven days. So you know, they can get maybe the benefit of both and that they are zoned residential to protect the ability to maintain a residential dwelling structure. And in this particular case, since they've identified a vacation rental that they use, uh, that they're applying for less than seven days, mm -hmm. Trying to preserve that as a non-conforming use. Yeah, so I'm going to break it down for my, in my simple math, simple English is that. So I think what Anthony is saying is if, if they have an established bed and breakfast or bed, and, excuse me, Airbnb, prior to this ordinance going into effect, then they would be essentially grandfathered as that as as that use that 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 uh, Airbnb use would be grandfathered. And if it, but it would be subject to non-conforming, or it would be considered non-conforming. But it would be subject to. We have non-conforming provisions in our code, such as if they cease operations of a non-conforming use for I can't recall what it is, 60 days or 90 days, then they lose those non-conforming rights. So, so yeah, I mean that's certainly uh, and, that's and certainly a way to look at it. What happens if they sell? If the property changes hands? I mean, typically non-conforming. A non-conforming use runs with the land. If the if there's a continuation. Yeah, it runs with the land rather than the owner. Okay. Okay. What about getting a mortgage? You're getting a, you can't get a mortgage on a non-conforming property. Well, can you? then, and and that's what the, that's what's that's a big impetus behind this whole entire effort is we were we've been approached over the years by people who are trying to get refinanced or trying to sell, and the underwriters come ask Kyle and I. If this house gets destroyed, can they rebuild it? And our answer is, well, it's subject to non-conforming um, provisions. It may not be able to be. And so... Think about the situation they're in now. Yeah. Okay. The residential use is a non-conforming use yeah. because it's C1 property. So they're, they're, they currently have 
a non-conforming residential. But we're trying use to fix it that so you're they trying, can get a mortgage. And a non-conforming structure, probably, because it's related because it's built for residential standards. So they're they're already in a non-conforming situation. My thought was you can make the residential use conforming by rezoning the property, right, as presented. Mm -hmm. And since they haven't identified an existing bed and uh, uh, Airbnb, yeah, allow that to continue as a non-conforming use. So yeah. the non-conforming use becomes more limited if this ordinance passes. Mm -hmm. It's only the vacation rental that's the non-conforming use, rather than the whole residential use residential. Yeah. that they find them, that, them themselves in right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Seems like a better situation but i mean if the property owner wants out then that's something that the the board um you know and the council can consider but they may not have been they may not have considered the possibility that they might end up in a better situation if you treat their airbnb as a non-conforming use right yeah and and i did i didn't communicate that so that is something that i will need to follow up with them on so let me, let me see if I've got it right. If we fix this for everybody else and leave the uh, stored unit as is, when it sells, the new mortgage is going to be a question mark. D did I get that right? They won't be able to get a mortgage. Or, or, or they'll, maybe, maybe they will, maybe they won't, but they'll right. have questions from possibly. the mortgage company. It'd possibly be an issue with the underwriter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does it make sense to set this one aside and ask that property owner to come in here or at least reconsider the consequences that didn't get discussed during the original discussion? Lamar, are you suggesting set just that parcel aside or set the entire the entire item aside? the entire the entire item you won't have to go at that way you don't have to redo every whole thing you can still use this when you bring bring it forward again in the next meeting or so and by then we'll have had a discussion with that property owner to see if they fully understand the consequences yeah i mean we my thought on that is that we've already advertised everything so i would Perhaps it might be more expedient to have the board make a recommendation on the everything this evening, and we could have a discussion with the with the um, with the property owner between now and when we take it to first reading to the city council. And if the property owner is not amenable, then we could either pull that parcel from the ordinance um, before it goes to the council. Well, the way we're going to talk, the way we have it now. Mm -hmm. is that parcel is pulled the parcel is what i'm sorry it's pulled already it, it's, it's well it's, it's it's in there so it's cur in there. currently it's in there yeah so if we send it forward to the council they're out it's om it's omitted from the uh re re well, no, no not necessarily yeah so it's currently as as written is included that's right that's so right. for you know for some reason the property owner never responded they they would be rezoned yeah, but we would, I, I think the yeah. board could take action on it tonight as we're recommending, depending on what the board's will is. And um, we could get with the property owner before first reading with the city council and adjust the ordinance then, rather than bring it back to the city, bring, I mean, excuse me, bring it back to the P&Z, and that'll delay it by All we're doing is at least a month. Yeah. And our recommendation is just do it for me one more time. It, it has what? It has the star on it or not on it? Well, the, yeah, the star is just to set it, set it apart, just to, just to note it. I mean, I, I would say our recommendation is to proceed as written, and then if you include know, should the should the yeah, include it, should the property owner you know discuss this and, and still decide to be omitted, we can bring that up at the first reading. Then the property owner would have to come back later if they really want to do this. They have to come back later and ask for a separate rezone. Right. Yeah. If they decided a year down the line, they could okay. they could reply to rezone. Well, that makes sense. Let's go ahead and do it that way, and uh, the property owner can can deal with it down the line. 
anything else from the from the board? Good discussion. My all opinion right. is, if you're going to do it, do it all. Yep. That's that's our intent yep. with all these properties. So, um, if there's individual issues, we take those up later. Okay. Uh, anything else from the public? Seeing no indication. Anything else from the council? From the board. <laughs> um, Hearing no further discussion, then I'd like to ask for a motion to there's, recommend. There's council. already a motion on the floor. Okay, I forgot. <clears throat> it was there a second. I'll second the motion. Thank you. Now, Renee, call them. John Price. Vice Chair John Price. Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> Mr. You can call the roll now, Renee. Mr. Stroud. For the motion. Mr. Sharp. For the motion. Ms. Denny? For the motion. Mr. Price? For the motion. Mr. Russell? For. And now we go through the same thing for the uh, zoning map. Same, uh, same conditions, same discussion. Uh, any additional discussions just because it's a zoning map? Shouldn't be. All right. Uh, I'm looking to the public. Seeing no indication, looking to the board, no indication. May I have a recommendation for, per, for recommendation Chairman, council? I'd like to make a recommendation to approve ordinance number 10-2024. Is there a second? I'll second the motion. Thank you. Now you may call the roll, Ms. Renee. Mr. Stroud? For the motion. Mr. Sharp? For the motion. Ms. Denny? For the motion. Mr. Price? For the motion. Mr. Russell? For. <clears throat> okay, good discussion. Uh, moving to item six. This would be the Canaveral Breakers Apartments. Again, we have a, uh, can you put the overhead up for us, Renee, so we can see where that one is? Would you guys want the aerial, this aerial or the zoning map? Is there uh, one you would prefer? Uh, I guess it's the area. Just give it the, the okay. area. Yeah, so just stay on the PowerPoint. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So this is the Canaveral Breakers condominium, um, similar to the, the Oaks. Notices were mailed out to individual unit owners. Let's see. I'm but these are apartments, though, right? They're called the Canaveral Breakers Annex Apartments, but they're a condominium. They're condominiums, yeah. okay. All right. <clears throat> yep. All right. Um, is there any uh, comment or question from the public? Seeing none. I'll ask the board if you have any further comments or questions. <clears throat> okay, may I have a, uh, a motion? This is for the land use amendment, 11, 2024. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion for recommendation of approval for uh, ordinance 11-2024. Thank you, is there a second? Chairman, I second that. Thank you. And uh, Renee, call roll, please. Mr. Stroud? For the motion. Mr. Sharp? For the motion. Ms. Denny? For the motion. Mr. Price? For the motion. Mr. Russell? For. Uh, that takes us down to the zoning map amendment. Uh, any questions from the public? Seeing no indications, uh, any questions or comments from the board? All right. May I have a motion? Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to um, accept ordinance number 12-2024 as is. Is there a second? Don't we need to start with Mr. Chairman, I second that motion. Do we, do we do 11? We did 1124, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. I didn't say the wrong thing. 11 dash 2024. <laughs> no, 
12 dash. I'm with you. I get confused. <laughs> I missed 11. I'm sorry. <laughs> you were asleep. I wrote it down and I still asked. Yeah, something. it takes a village. <laughs> All right. We're now completed with uh, item. I need a call roll. Did we call yeah. roll? No. Call roll, please. So, oh, Mr. Sorry. Stroud? For the motion. Mr. Sharp? For the motion. Ms. Denny? For the motion. Mr. Price? For the motion. Mr. Russell? Four. All right. Now that brings us to item seven, which is 102 East Central Boulevard. You want to put that one on the overhead for us? Okay. So this, this isn't a condominium or anything. This is kind of a, a loan parcel that's still C1. Um, it's next to the this the mini storage that's that is zoned C one and then the properties to oh, the okay. east are, are residential and they're zoned R two. Yeah, I'm used to referring to that whole thing as Central Boulevard, so got it. Huh. Okay. Uh anything from the public? Uh seeing no indication. Now to the board. Questions? Comments. Okay. May I have a motion on 13 2024? Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we recommend approval for ordinance number 13 2024. Is there a second? I second the motion. Thank you. Brenda, call the roll. Mr. Sharp? For the motion. Mr. Stroud? For the motion. Ms. Denny? For the motion. Mr. Price? For the motion. Mr. Russell? For. All right. That moves us down to Part B, which is a zoning map. And uh, I'll just ask if there are any other questions or comments. May I have a motion? We might need to ask the public if there was any comments from the public. This yeah, I looked around. I, I know there probably isn't, but for the record, is I, uh, there? See, I see no comments, <laughs> no indication of comment from the public. Thank so you, Mark. then we move down to the board. Now, where are we? We're asking for a motion. On yeah, B. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I recommend the approval of ordinance number 14 2024. I'll second that motion. Thank you. Renee, call the board, call the roll. Mr. Sharp? For the motion. Mr. Stroud? For the motion. Ms. Denny? For the motion. Mr. Price? For the motion. Mr. Russell? For. All right, that brings us to Madison Avenue, uh, parcels 108, 112, 114, 116. Again, uh, I want to put that on the up overhead. All right, Madison Avenue. So that's the property directly behind that strip center that has the Vargas yes. in it and that kind that's of thing? That's correct, so okay. it's, it's that property. and so. For context, we really we wanted to address that that property. The the so there's two properties here. The three to the east. Um, there were a few. We we need to do some more research into the how the lots were split on those three. So we we didn't want to include them at this time. So that's why there's just these two for now. Now, are those people who had their houses burnt down? Are they in a situation now? where they can't do anything because it's not zoned residential? Yeah, that's a good question. We've had discussions. Matter of fact, the owner is sitting right behind me. Um, we've been talking to him about that. Um, so they are going to be able to rebuild um, based on some small modifications to the, to the building itself. It was a non-conforming structure and non-conforming use. Um, so the non-conforming structure is um, a simple fix. Just, just the the rebuild is going to stay out of the setback area. Uh, there used to be a kind of a covered patio 
on the west side of that building, well, we're gonna, it's not gonna be rebuilt completely, completely, so they'll be able to maintain the setbacks. So the non-conforming structure issue goes away. And with this rezoning, the non-conforming use issue will go away, so. So do we have the right parcels in this uh, data pack? Yes, it's, it's two different, different parcels. It's I'm, the one directly I'm behind I'm it. I'm counting four parcels, but I see two on the overhead. There's, there's, uh, they're duplexes, I believe, so there's four addresses, but only two parcels. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any comments from Vic Probably? So my question is, I'm the one who owns 108 to 112. Would you like to come up here and get yourself on the record and it helps you as well as us? Uh, your name again? My name is Giuseppe Conoscenti. I'm the owner of 108 to 112 Madison. Okay. Uh, no, no, my concern, we've been talking to Mr. Dickey for a while regarding rebuilding what was damaged and the setbacks, the, the, the commercial space, the commercial building is, it's right on the, the, between the commercial building and my property, it's only like three feet. So basically they are non-conforming almost because the setbacks is very low. So, but I just want to make sure I can rebuild what was there before. With the minor changes we discuss, because uh, I, you know, I like to get it done. I want to make the project look better, or you know, to make it look better with what it was before. Is, is there a setback question? Is that it? The setback. Well, the the no, structure okay. was non-conforming due to the setback with the west property line. Mm -hmm. But we've we've talked to Giuseppe, and we're gonna. I think we're gonna make a, a small tweak to the building, and I, it, it will it will be able to meet the eight foot side setback requirement. So yeah, this setback issue is being addressed. So if yeah, if that's I have no problems to move ahead and to change the zoning to residential. Okay. So do we need to word our recommendation a particular way, or can we just? Are we set with the wording as it is? I think the I think just like we've handled all the other ones, we'll be fine. Okay. We'll handle. Yeah, we have a good understanding. Yeah, we'll handle Giuseppe's issues. <laughs> okay. uh, meaning that uh, I will, you know, very, you know, the little change we need to do with it's not a, it doesn't affect much the Thank use you. of the property. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Anything else from the board? Good catch. Then I'll ask for a recommendation for the uh, future land use map, 15-2024. Mr. Chairman, I recommend that, uh, or I make a motion that we recommend approval of ordinance 15-2024. Uh, Is there a second? I'll second the motion. Thank you. Renee Colero. Mr. Stroud. For the motion. Mr. Sharp. For the motion. Ms. Denny. For the motion. Mr. Price. For the motion. Mr. Russell. For. Again, uh, item B is the uh, zoning map amendment. And questions are the same. Anything from the public? Seeing no indication, anything from the board? <clears throat> okay, I'd like to ask for a motion. May I have a motion? Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we recommend approval ordinance number 16-2024. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to second that motion. Thank you. Renee, call the roll, please. Mr. Sharp. For the motion. Mr. Stroud. For the motion. Ms. Denny? For the motion. Mr. Price? For the motion. Mr. Russell? For. Okay. That brings us to that uh, part of the agenda that says reports and open discussion. Does anybody have anything they need to bring before us to talk about or 
put on future agendas or anything like that? I'd like to just update the board on one item. Um, I believe it was at your last meeting, the board recommended to the council um, to approve the mixed use ordinance. Um, that has been transmitted to the state um, as required. Uh, they have 30 days to review it. And we should hopefully be getting, well, hopefully we're getting no comments back from them um, the last week of November. Um, so if that's the case, we can bring that to the council for second reading and adoption at the December meeting. So hopefully in December, we'll be, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll be getting really close. Um, I will say that we are, if you recall, that ordinance also discussed live work units. And one of the things that the, that specific section of the ordinance talks about is preparing what are called land development regulations for mixed, for live work units. And that's really kind of the nuts and bolts of how those live work units are going to work and how we're going to administer them. So we met with the city manager today. We're gonna to be preparing some, a draft ordinance with the assistance of the city attorney that'll spell all those meet the kind of the nuts and bolts of live work units we'll be getting that back to the board it'll be an ordinance form so we'll be making a recommendation on that um, i'm not sure if it'll be done by december but probably it, hopefully no later than january we'll be getting that back to you so um so be be on the lookout for that as well that's all. that's all. Anything? anything? Uh, the, the last meeting also, uh, the board made a recommendation to eliminate parking minimums for bars and restaurants, and council will be discussing that on Tuesday of next week. So, should be an interesting conversation. And then, you know, based on how that conversation goes, I, I believe, uh, Mr. Chairman, you you wanted to discuss have a broader conversation. You know, besides just bars and restaurants. So, we can we can have that conversation soon as well. Now, is there is it going to be a vote from the city council on the parking, or just discussion? Some votes. We're, we're presenting them with an or a draft ordinance for them to act on. Okay. So yes, it'll be. I mean, the cool. council's the council has the ability to defer it or to you know extend it, but I would, I anticipate a vote uh, next Tuesday night. Cool. So so let's review the bidding. We uh, did we submit a. Uh, Recommendation for ordinance to vacate the parking requirement for bars and restaurants. I think I remember that. Okay. All right. So we did that, and that was the that was the recommendation from the property owners too. So they bought in with us. Yeah, there were several property owners here that were spoke in favor of removing parking requirements for bars and restaurants. Yes, sir. And the. Uh, Neighborhood is quiet. We don't have any uh, ongoing controversy right now, do we, about parking? Those Not places? that I'm aware of. Okay. <laughs> that can change on a very quick basis. It can change though. overnight. <laughs> on a Saturday night. That's right. <laughs> All right. Good reports. Thank you. Uh, anything from the board? Any? All right. Okay. Seeing... Uh, no indication that we have any more business to cover. Uh, I'm going to adjourn the meeting. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Good meeting. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So this is a good one.